Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Now this video is a tutorial on court sweeping at my local two court tennis club. So here we go how I find the best way to do it. So the first thing I want to touch on is proper footwear for clay court. You need dedicated clay court shoes is optimum. An aggressive running shoe or hiking sneaker is actually causes damage to the court because it digs down deep and leaves big marks so that you want to avoid and look into clay court shoes because it will help improve your game and give you a sure footing on the court now here we have what the court looks like after me just walking sliding and and moving left to right and look at the markings you can see clearly so this is only five minutes of me leaving shoe marks. So at the end of play, an hour, an hour and a half, it really gets worse than this. So even if it's light like this, it needs a sweep. So these green sweepers at the club is what you'll be using. And they actually do have a proper side and a top side. So you want the right side on the bottom, which you could tell it's on the bottom by looking at the sticker on the metal bar. If you could read hard true upright, then lay it down like that. Or take a look at the spikes and you could tell the spikes have a longer flat edge that should be on the court surface and the triangle ramp edge is on the top. This gives you the best possible sweep. So I like to go from side to side on the court with the sweep because if you go from the baseline to the net, you're going to have issues turning at the net and leaving turn marks at the net and at the baseline. And the problem, sometimes you pick up a uh, little leaves and stuff, debris, and you could stop on the side when you reach the fence and shake it off and keep the court clear of debris as you sweep. So it can be pretty tricky using the line brush if it's your first couple of times, but once you get the hang of it, it's pretty easy. You go nice and slow in order to keep a straight line and the angle of the arm of the brush should be about 45 degrees. As you can see, if it's too high, the brush digs in to the line in the court and it will stop and prevent you from moving. Now, if it's too low, then the brush is not reaching the line and it's not sweeping. Now, sometimes I see people struggle when they reach the net. Once you brush a line towards the net, it's good to return the walk back to the baseline brushing, but some people try to start too close to the net and they find trouble getting jammed and it's a bit of a hassle but the trick is to give yourself four or five feet brush towards the net and then you pick up the brush reset pointing towards the baseline and you continue to brush thank you and enjoy your time at new rochelle heights racket club